Hi, this is Judy at Crochet for Lefties. In previous videos, we covered some of the basics of crochet. So today we're going to get started with a simple project, a crochet dishcloth, using a couple of the stitches that we've learned. Stay with me. All right, to get started on our crochet dishcloth, we're going to have need about an ounce and a quarter or so of cotton crochet yarn. And this is 100% cotton yarn. It has two and a half ounces on the skein. We're only going to use about half of that. I have a size H crochet hook, the one that we used in the other videos. And we're going to start by creating a chain of 25 chain stitches. Okay, so we started with our slip knot and then we're going to make 25 chains. And you can do that right along with me if you want. And then we'll be right back as soon as those 25 chains are ready. All right, I have 25 chain stitches on this strand. Now what we're going to do is do one row of single crochet. We're going to skip that first chain and do single crochet in the top part of all the chains all the way across and as soon as I'm done with that we're going to chain two turning chains and I'll show you when we get there so take your chain of 25 and go all the way across with a row of single crochet as you can see I've made it all the way across with one row of single crochet and I'm at the end of that row and now I'm going to do two turning chain stitches. One, two, and then we're going to turn it in the right hand. And Now we're going to do a series of rows in just half double crochet. So just like we showed you before, we're going to not crochet in those turning chains, but we're going to uh, yarn over the hook and we're going to use insert the hook under both of those uh, pieces of yarn of that first stitch and then we're going to do a whole row of double crochet or excuse me half double crochets a whole row of half double crochets and I'll tune back in when I get there we have another row of half double crochet and I'm at the very end and so now what I'm going to do is chain two again and we're going to do another row of half double crochet just like we just did and what you do now is you just continue doing one row after another of half double crochet until the length of it until it is right around seven and a half inches approximately seven and a half inches and when you've done that many rows where it's seven and a half inches tall then we're going to do something a little bit different and finish it off and I'll get back with you as soon as mine gets that long. Alright, you can see that I have been busy and this is just a little under seven and a half inches but that is as far as I'm going to go. It's right where I want it to be. Now what we want to do is a row of single crochet. So because of that, I'm only going to do one chain stitch at the end of that row and then I'm going to do single crochet all the way across and then we'll tune back in when we get to the end and we have a couple options on what to do from there. Okay, I have single crocheted all the way to the end of that top row. Now you see it looks pretty good. It looks like a a nice square piece. You could end it right here and tie it off right here and have a nice crocheted dishcloth. Or you can take it one step further and single crochet the rest of the way around to this point because this is the beginning of that top row of single crochet. So you can just keep on going around. And what you would do at each corner, you would put a single crochet stitch 
two or three of them in the same spot. So we've already got one in that last spot. To go around, I'm just going to do another single crochet right there. Now, when you're on the sides, obviously you don't have stitches as uniformly as you would working your way up in the project. All you can do is feed your stitches into the side of these rows evenly spaced the best you can. It is it takes a little bit of getting used to simply because it's uh, you don't have a set place to put your your uh, hook into. So all you can do is just kind of work it in evenly, about as evenly as you would across a regular row on down. And then when you get down to this point you'll need to feed, I'll show you what I mean, you'll need to feed this tail end piece of yarn into this row right here and all I do is just kind of wrap it around in the top strands or the, the end strands here of these stitches. I'm going to take my smaller crochet hook. I think it'll be easier. You could also do it with a, a darning needle if you wanted to. Feed it in that way. Again, I just like to use a crochet hook because it's a little quicker for me, a little bit less to be concerned with, a little easier on my part. And we'll just feed that in. And then what I'm going to do is continue on with my single crochets all the way around this so that it gives it a nice finished look. And I will be putting two single crochets in each corner, in the same place in each corner, and that'll help to round it out. You could do three, two or three. It's kind of up to how big your square is and how much turn you really need in it. So it could be two or it could be three, but I do try to make them uniformly. And I will be back when this is all done, and I'll show you uh, how it is when I'm ready to tie it off. Okay, as you can see, I have crocheted, single crocheted all the way around, uh, and this is my starting point, and this is my ending point, so I'm there. I put two single crochets in the same spot in each corner of these three corners, and so it helps to round it out. Now, to finish this off, I showed you this in another video, but we're going to show you again here. All we're going to do is feed the hook into that first stitch and do a single crochet that way. And now, we're going to take a pair of scissors and cut it. So, oh, I'm leaving about three inches or so, somewhere in there. It's not critical how much. And then we're just going to bring the yarn through that loop and tie it off and just kind of give it a little bit of a tug. And now the last thing to do is just to um, take this tail end and feed it into the stitches here. And again, you can do it with a darning needle or you can do it with a real tiny crochet hook like I have, which is a uh, size six, which, you know, the size is not critical on this as long as it's small and you can feed it through the existing stitches that are there without distorting them too much, you're in good shape. You can see now we have the finished dishcloth. These things are great for washing dishes, pots and pans with. They're even good for using on your face or using as a washcloth in the bathtub. They're soft yet they wash really well and they're uh, very gentle on the skin yet they can scrub pots and pans with them too. So. These are great things. It's a very simple project for a beginning crocheter. So this is Judy at Crochet for Lefties. I hope this has been a big help to you and a fun project. Have a great day.